One year later and a Central Ohio family is still looking for justice. 24 year old Bryce Persang was killed last September. His mother continues her push for answers. Good evening to you, everybody and thank you for being with us for NBC 4 at 11. I'm Carrie Charles and I'm Sierra Johnson. Police have identified suspects, but no arrests have been made. NBC 4's Eric Halperin talked to Bryce's mother and is in Columbus with the latest on this case. Well, Bryce's mom, Catherine, says she's started to get a bit better over the past couple months. She still does not have justice, and she says part of the healing revolves around getting justice. Catherine Persang wears this necklace every day. It's her way of taking her son Bryce with her everywhere she goes. Here he is. She's also put this heart-shaped lock on the Rich Street Bridge. Forever my Batman written on it. Her and her son's favorite superhero. If you needed him, he would show up or he'd stay on the phone with you. Whatever it was that you needed, he made himself available. She says her son always looked for the good in others and was extremely close with his nephew. Bryce was shot and killed last September. It's now been a year since his death. Acceptance and closure, I'm like, I don't think I'll ever know what that is. But I think that I'll be I'm starting to grow around my grief. In June, Columbus police identified two suspects in the shooting, 20-year-old Tahir Said and 19-year-old Hanat Abdul. Investigators say they believe the suspects have fled the country. Yeah, we know who the suspects are, but being able to find them is another story. So I have to fight this, this go up this mountain in a different way. Um, trying to find a way for his justice. And Persing is not the only one still looking for justice in a loved one's case. She urges anyone who has information about Bryce's case or others to contact police. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.